I'm just there like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Can we please change the topic? <laughs> Jumbo, welcome back to another video. Welcome if this is your first time here. Welcome back to another episode of Coming to America. Coming to America is a series that focuses on people's different experiences in America. If you would love to share one of your experiences in America, then you can go ahead and send me a DM on Facebook or Instagram, or you can send me an email and I'm gonna do this kind of video and your identity is gonna remain anonymous. This is a series where we're just growing together, advising each other, learning from each other and just finding comfort in knowing that we're not the only ones who are going through certain experiences. Without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. So as usual, I'm gonna read the experience and then I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen so that you guys can read it with me. I don't know if this is the worst, but I don't think so. But I've had a huge challenge making friends. I don't know if it's me or it's just hard making friends as an adult, but the struggle has been real. It's been extremely hard making new connections because most of the time, people talk about things I have no idea about or experiences I've never heard of. I just can't have a conversation where we can relate. So I'm just like, leave me alone. Oh honey, I understand exactly where you're coming from. Making friends as an adult is quite the task. Making friends as a child was so much easier. I remember how you would meet other kids and within 10 minutes you would be chasing each other, building a rocket ship without even knowing each other's names. But in adulthood, everything is just so different. The person mentioned relatability during conversations and this is something that I absolutely relate to. I cannot tell you the number of times I have found myself with a group of people, especially white people, and then we start having conversations. The conversation usually goes well in the beginning, we're just asking each other how we're doing. And then somewhere along the line, maybe they start talking about their favorite childhood shows. Nakokonya used to watch Bollywood, Nollywood, and telenovelas as a child. So when they start talking about, I don't know which show, I, I, I have no idea what they're talking about. So I'm just gonna sit there, I'm gonna start blinking intensely and smiling awkwardly because I don't know what to say. Or even just a simple topic like food, I know very few American dishes. So when people start talking about different American foods, I'm just there like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Can we please change the topic? I've been in America for almost five years now and one would expect me to have a lot of white friends. But on the contrary, I actually only have one or two white friends that I actually consider to be friends. The rest of them are just acquaintances. So majority of my friends are Africans and these are friends that I actually made when I first came to the US. The friends that I made during orientation and during my first semester of coming to America. Those are the friends that I still have up to date. Also, as an introvert, I avoid social gatherings like plague. And if you want to make friends, then you have to attend a lot of different social gatherings. This is literally how you meet new people and establish new connections. But I'm not the biggest fan of social gatherings. The one type of social gathering that I like is concerts. I love going to concerts. But for the most part, when I go to concerts, I'm just there to listen to the artist, record, take pictures, and boom, I'm done. I leave. So there's not really that much time for me to meet people and say hi and establish those connections. I'm sure for someone who's an extrovert, maybe it's probably going to be a little bit easier for them to make friends even in a concert. But for me, it's not that easy. Another thing is that in adulthood, we have to pay bills, we have to work, some of us are going to school. We just have so many things going on and sometimes making friends is probably the last thing on the priority list. On the other hand, as an adult, I personally think that we don't need a bunch of friends. We just need a few solid friends who we can count on and who can also count on us. Having so many friends creates room for drama. Also, there's a difference between a friend, an acquaintance, and a colleague. 
I think it's important to recognize the distinctions and every time you're having interactions with people, move accordingly. For most of us, we have that distinction when it comes to the type of information we share with friends, the type of information we share with an acquaintance, and the type of information we share with a colleague. I mean, you can have a colleague who is also a friend, but you guys get the point. So in as much as establishing friendships in adulthood is difficult, I think that if you have those few solid friends that you can count on and they can count on you as well, then you're good. You can still establish new connections with new people, but not everyone deserves to be your friend. Friendships are important and amazing, and I think it's also important to just take the time to vet people before we actually consider them to be friends, because not everyone deserves that kind of access to you. I value friendships, so I don't really consider everyone that I know as my friend. But you guys, my subscribers, you're my friends. I consider all of you my friends and I love you guys. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on the topic in the comment section. Has it been easy or difficult for you to make friends as an adult? If it's been difficult, why do you think that has been the case? I would love to share your experience in America. I'm gonna leave my email, my Instagram, and my Facebook. Otherwise, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know what you think about today's topic in the comments section. If this is your first time here, feel free to subscribe. And also, don't forget to leave a like. That's all. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!